Hello and welcome to this tutorial about the setup of the method quote1. First, you have to open setup quant. You will get a quick overview of the setup steps. You can either edit an existing quant method via the load quant method button or create a new one. To do this, just press next. In this step, you have to add the components of interest. Press the add component button, write the component name in the left rectangle and the unit in the right rectangle. Afterwards, press set. Repeat this for every component and then press next. In the next window, you have to add the reference vector. Press add spectra, select your files and press open. Typically, you want to use a B-type spectra for quantifications and bands with an intensity below an absorbance of 1.2. If you opened a wrong one, you can select it and press remove select spectra to delete it. Now you must define the concentration of every component in your open spectra. Enter the values of the components in your pre-selected unit. For the following step, press next and then press Set Integration Areas. For each component, you need to select a range in which there is a clear and unique peak for that component. In our example, this is a peak for isopropanol and this is one for ethanol. First, we have to choose between 19 integration methods. The most common are B and K. Method B integrates the area between the spectra and an artificial baseline. Method K integrates the difference in height between the spectra maximum and the artificial baseline. For more information about the different integration methods, just look at Help Online Docs Base Package in the chapters 9.2 for integration and 9.3 for setting up quant method. We will use method B. Pay attention that you have to actively click on the icon until you see the selected method on the right. You can either direct enter the borders of the area or use the interactive function and move the borders manual. Just pre-select the range, then left click in the gray area, press zoom and zoom in. Select your wanted zoom area via two left clicks and then left click again to zoom in. Deselect the zoom function via right click. Now optimize the integration range. They should be close to peak area. Repeat this for every component. You switch between them with the arrows. Afterwards, confirm your entries with OK and press Next. In the following step, you choose the correlation between the area beneath the spectra and the concentration of the component. Usually, it's linear. Then press Calibrate to proceed and to save your setup file. You get a fit of your experimental data. Important is here the correlation coefficient. It should be as close to 1 as possible. Via the arrows, you switch between the components. You can print this for documentation. Press Next for Quant Calibration Report. You can print this either. Now we're done with the setup. Press Finish to close the window. The method is now ready to use, for example in Opus Touch. For this, the method is quickly uploaded and can be directly integrated into the different workflows. This way, users get the result with just a few clicks, but of course, you can also perform the evaluation in Opus IR. Before using the quant method, check that under Setup, User Settings, in the Evaluations tab, the option Open Results View Immediately is active. To analyze the spectrum, select it by clicking on the AB block under the name and press Quant. In the new window, you see the selected spectrum. You can add more by moving them into the rectangle. Select all spectra before using quant. 
If required, select your method via the load quant method button. To start, press analyze. Afterwards, for every spectrum, a result window will open. It shows the concentration of every component in your sample. You can print them if you want to. Furthermore, every analyzed spectrum has a new quant block. Double click it to reopen the results. Thank you for watching this tutorial video. We hope all your questions are answered and we wish you a good day.